Hey Himanshu here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Google Analytics Usage Trends tool to visualize data. I will also explain the basics of trend analysis and trend lines so that you can take maximum advantage of the Usage Trends tool. So let's jump right in. The Google Analytics Usage Trends tool has been around for a while. So it is not exactly a brand new tool, but for many of you, it may be the first time you have heard of this tool. This tool is used to visualize trends in your Google Analytics data. So basically this tool is used to perform trend analysis. Now some of you may not be familiar with trend analysis. So let me give you a brief overview of what trend and trend analysis are. A trend is a movement in a particular direction. When the movement is upward, it is called uptrend. When the movement is downwards, it is called downtrend. When the movement is sideways, then it is not technically a trend. A trend can also be short or seasonal, intermediate or long term. The longer the trend, the more significant it becomes for analysis. For example, a three months long trend is not as significant as a three years long trend. So here is a quick recap of the different types of trend. Now when we do trend analysis, we use something called the trend line. A trend line is used to graphically display trends in data. You can manually end a trend line to a chart via MS Excel. But the Google Analytics Usage Trends tool automatically adds trend lines to its chart. So you don't need to manually add trend lines here. There are different types of trend lines. For example, linear trend line, logarithmic trend line, polynomial trend line, moving average trend line, power trend line, exponential trend line. Now I will not be covering these trend lines in great detail here. You just need to be aware that there are different types of trend lines and the trend lines used by Google Analytics usage trends tool is the linear trend line. A linear trend line is used if your data set is linear. That is, it resembles a straight line and the data values are increasing or decreasing at a steady rate. You will notice while using the usage trend tool that whenever you hover your mouse over the trend line, it displays the equation of the straight line. The equation of the straight line is y equals to mx plus b. Here m is the slope of the straight line and b is the y-intercept. The other two numbers are the values of x and y. Now I can't go into detail about explaining slope and y-intercept here. Otherwise it will become a course on statistics 101 and we don't have that much time. What you need to remember here is that whenever you see such equations being displayed over a trend line, it is the equation of the straight line. You don't need to stress about how this equation is calculated. Google Analytics is doing all of these calculations for you. Just remember that whenever you see such equation being displayed over a trend line, it is the equation of the straight line. Now you may be wondering what is the advantage of using the usage trends tool? What is the advantage of doing trend analysis? Trend analysis is a very important part of analyzing data. The true insight is hidden in a trend and not in raw numbers. By conducting trend analysis, you can achieve following objectives. You can measure the performance of a marketing campaign over a long period of time. For example, you can determine whether organic search traffic has increased or decreased in the last one year. You can compare the performance of two or more marketing campaigns over a long period of time. For example, you can determine whether organic search traffic has increased or decreased in the last one year and also how it has performed in comparison to paid search traffic and traffic from social media. You can understand change in consumer behavior over time. For example, you can determine whether the mobile usage is growing faster than desktop usage for your website. Through trend analysis, you can determine potential problems with current optimization program and marketing practices. So for example, if you see a downtrend in organic search traffic, then you know you have to speed up your website SEO. Trend analysis helps in determining where current business operations and marketing practices could take you. 
negative trends act as a warning of potential problems with current practices. Trend analysis can help you in refining business decisions and strategies. We develop strategies which respond to the identified trends. Moving with positive trends and not against them can lead to more profit. Through trend analysis, you can predict future outcomes and events, such as what the sales for the second half of the year is likely to be. Now you understand what trend analysis is and why you should be using the Google Analytics Usage Trends tool. Let's jump straight into using this tool. Type Google Analytics Demo Tool in your browser address bar. Click on the Demo Tools link in the search result. Scroll down and then click on the Usage Trends link. Click on the Click Here to Authorize link. If you are not already logged in your Google account, then Google will ask you to first log in. However, if you are already logged in but using the Google Analytics Demo Tools for the first time, then you may be asked to allow Google Analytics Demo Tools to view your Google Analytics data. Click on the Allow button. Select the Google Analytics view through which the Google Analytics Usage Trends tool should query the data from the drop-down menu. Select the data you want the Usage Trends tool to plot. This data includes metric, dimension, time frame, maximum results. If you are not sure which data to plot, then click on one of the reports suggested by the Usage Trends tool. Each of these four links correspond to a particular dimension in Google Analytics. For example, the link desktop mobile usage corresponds to device category dimension. So if you click on this link, the dimension field will automatically be set to device category. Similarly, the link browser usage corresponds to the browser dimension. So if you click on this link, the dimension field will automatically be set to browser. Let's set the dimension to source medium from the drop down menu. Now click on the create trend report button. If you scroll down to the results section, you can see all the results chart. Here the dimensions are displayed as the total percentage of the metric you selected earlier. In our case, the selected metric is sessions. For example, from this chart, we can conclude that the traffic from Google Organic Search fluctuated between 75 to 80% of the total traffic of the website in the last one year. Similarly, direct traffic fluctuated between 15 to 20% of the total traffic of the website in the last one year. The x-axis is the time frame measured in number of weeks ago. So here you can see trend from 0 to 52 weeks ago, which is equivalent to a year. The y-axis is the percentage of total of whatever metric you selected earlier. In our case, the selected metrics is sessions. So now you know how to read this chart. If you scroll down further, you can see several results breakdown charts. This is the first one. This is the results breakdown chart for Google Organic Search. As you can see, the trend line appears in the results breakdown chart. You can hover your mouse over the results breakdown chart to see the value of each data point or to see the equation of the straight line. Note the y-axis here. It does not start from 0% which can give you the illusion that the change is significant. So watch out for that. If you scroll down further, you can see another results breakdown chart. This one is for direct traffic. This one is for Bing organic traffic. This one is for Yahoo organic. Now a quick note about the number of results you can see via the usage trends tool. By default, the usage trends tool show five results at a time. If you want to see less or more than five results, then select the number of results you want to see from the max results drop down menu. Let us select 10 from the max drop down menu and then click on the create trend report button. Now if you look at the all results chart, you can see two arrow buttons on the right hand side. Click on the blue arrow button to see more results. 
You can use these arrow buttons to go back and forth between different results. When using the Usage Trends tool, there are some caveats you need to be aware of. You probably know that not all dimension and metrics can be queried together. So if you try to do that with the Usage Trend tools, you're going to see an error message. Let me show you what I meant. I select the impression metric from the drop down menu and user bucket as dimension. Now I click on the create trend report button. Oops, something went wrong. Selected dimension and metrics cannot be queried together. You're going to see this error message whenever you try to query the dimension and metrics which should not be queried together. You can close this error message by clicking on the X button here. Otherwise this error message will continue to appear. Another example where you will encounter issue while using the usage trend tool is when you try to query the data which is not available in your reporting view. For example, let's say I selected source medium as dimension and then I click on the create trend report button. No result found. The view doesn't have any data for the selected dimension and metrics. These are some of the issues you need to be aware of when using the usage trends tool. But overall the tool is easy to use and can help you a lot in your data analysis. Alright that's all for now. If you have any question about this tool then contact me. If you want to learn more about trend analysis and the use of Max and Stats in web analytics then check out my book Max and Stats for Web Analytics and Conversion Optimization. It is available on all Amazon marketplaces worldwide. For more in-depth hands-on training, join my web analytics training course. You can find more details about this course on my website optimizesmart.com. Alright, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you very soon. Take care, bye.